What's up, Motherfuckers? Welcome to another episode of Motherfucker Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Blackson. I'm here with Chinese best friend. How you doing? Hey, uh, hey, Mike. How you doing, Mike? I'm doing good, man. You know what? I'm going to be going back to Ghana, so we'll be doing from here. Very soon, we're going to be doing it from Ghana. I'm just still going to call you, and we're just going to do it together. When are you leaving, Michael Blackson? I never heard you you were going again. I have to make it. I have to uh, let you know my every move. That's, you can't let Americans <laughs> know what you're doing, man. What are you doing over there? Building a university now? I'm st- no, the school's not finished yet. I got baby steps. Okay. Oh, that's good though. That's a good deed you're doing. Thanks, Chinese. Finally, all them uh, kids in the streets have a nice school. Yes, man. You know what I'm gonna do too. I, I want to. I, I want to have some kind of sports at my school, man. Yeah, that's a great idea because there's a lot of athletes. Yeah, athletes I want to get some. You know, get some future Olympic Olymp- Olympians. Olympians. Yeah, future Olympians. I mean, Ghanaians, we're good at, like, they, they play, they're good soccer players. I mean, every African could run. Do you guys have a soccer team in Ghana? Yes, Chinese best. What a stupid fucking question that was. I haven't watched any soccer game at all. Yeah, they have a good, they have pretty decent. They've been decent in the past few, you know, uh, the World Cups. I mean, it, I'm still disappointed from one from, like, many years ago when they lost to Uruguay on, like, a... I'm, it was in, it was one in South Africa. In fact, Mandela was alive then, and he it was so he was so pissed about that loss because wow. Ghana was the only African team left. They made it all the way through the finals. They made it to the quarterfinals. Oh and then they wow! Lost. They lost, but it, should it was a game they should have won. So I'm still mad about that game. It was it was a game a team against. The team I seen called Uruguay. Am I saying the country? Uruguay. Right? Uruguay. Ur- Uruguay. 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 They wore light blue there in South America. That's all I remember. That was a nightmare for me. What, what year was that? 1990s? No, motherfucker. It was like 2000 and um something. Like, huh. It could have been either 2004. 2004. Or eight. Wow. That, that game must 12. have haunted you for the rest of your life because you still remember. Uh, the one of them years, I don't fucking remember. But yeah, we took it out. You remember that year, the day they lost, but you don't remember what year and date you were born. No African know when they were born, okay? <laughs> Nobody was there to write shit down. I wasn't born in a hospital. There was no record of nothing, okay? When I when I got when I was born the first what did you saw first? A nurse, right? I saw a fucking goat. Okay. <laughs> were you born I in said, a I Ghana said mad. The goat said <laughs> mad. <laughs> I was born at home. My mother had me home in the backyard. Not oh. in the backyard. All the, somewhere. There were midwives. Some some neighbor yanked me out of my mom's vagina. Okay. Wow. Well, we're glad that you made it alive. Yeah, she pulled me out. and um, Was the labor long? I, was, I, think, I think I was pulled out by my dick. That's probably why I was so <laughs> like, stretched out a little more than normal i think my dick came out first well you came out when you was born what came out first uh my big head they had to suction it i heard for real yeah, yeah. my dick came out first they had to grab a plunger from the toilet and suction it i believe you yeah because i got a big head yeah I, my dick came out first <laughs> did they circumcise you right there when you're born or? well my dick was so big they circumcised me while i was in my mother's vagina <laughs> They had to give my, they open my mother up, cut my dick up, and then they sew her back up and yank me out of her pussy. Well, that must be the happiest day of her life. Finally, you're out of her. She was happy my dick was out. She said, you could have kept the rest of my body in there and let my dick in her. Uh, to, the moment my dick came out, she was free. She, once my dick came out, she thought that she was done giving labor to me. They said, oh, no, he still has a head and a leg <laughs> and an arm. She said, well, the biggest part is out, so... Well, you're one of your mo- mother's favorite, bu- building her a school in Ghana. Yeah, I'm a favorite, man. Uh, you're good are you your kid. mother's favorite? Or are you? Uh, it's very hard, Mike. There's eight of us. It was eight of us, too. Was eight of she us. only likes the the gay brother. Oh, yeah, gay brother. But he's probably nice and sweet. Yeah, she likes me, too. Yeah. Yeah, but you. I mean, what do you do for her besides, like, do you borrow money from your mother? Do you, are you well, a, when I used to have a lot of money, I used to take care of her. And then when you became broke, she takes yeah. she, she's, she's No, she didn't take care of me. I still give her some here and there. That's nice, man. Yeah. Your mother loves you. 
Bless you, Chinese best friend. No, that was a cough. So I, I hope I didn't get that uh, that new Delta Delta Airlines. What what, what is that? No, no, fucking. It's a new. It's a new strain of Corona. Who was carrying that uh, Corona to the United States? Delta Airlines, where you always fly. I don't. Fly. American Airlines. I, fly I mean American. Delta. Delta is the one. It's, it's, why is it called Delta yeah. strain? I wonder why they. Who names them? I mean, obviously airlines. I guess whatever airlines they hate, they just name it after that. Like I bet. <laughs> Southwest is next. Uh, yeah, if they want them to to go down, huh? Yeah, do. Yeah, if you have any hope? You call Spirit Fucking, Airlines. You know, they, after they call Corona, shit, Cor- Corona beer went down for it a did while. Did go down? Then yeah, it went down in value. Nobody want to drink Corona anymore. I never thought about that. I bet you the guy that named that one works for Budweiser, <laughs> right? <laughs> even uh, the Mexicans don't even want to drink Corona anymore. But it's, it's that whole new strand is in five states or something like that? It is. Uh, I don't know, Mike. I haven't watched the news lately. I've been hanging out with you too much. Yeah, and uh, I need to, like, we have to stay away from that one. I don't, we don't. But we're about to be shut down again, you think? Oh, shit. You think they're going to shut us down? We, they just opened us. Our life's finally good. Yeah, Go- man. It felt good. I yeah. went to Vegas. Everybody turning up. No mask. You know, hookers are back selling pussy. It was yeah. very nice. Slot machines and blackjack Every tables black are jack, open. No more glass. No more glass. No more glass between wow. you and a funny looking dealer. Now you could just curse. You him could high five him now. You could high five the dealer. Oh shit! You could um, you go to a concert. I went to the, see Dave Chappelle and um. Oh, how was that? Joe Rogan and the other guy. I forgot his name. That other guy was funny uh, too. Yeah, you forgot that one the other day too when you told me about yeah, him. Yeah, but it now nah, it was fifteen thousand people. Ooh. Probably about eight people had masks on. Wow. And yeah. they're the workers. And well, they usually like a lot of fat men. They're just <laughs> afraid of, they have underlying overweight disease. <laughs> what do you mean? They were probably just fat men, just crazy guys with high blood pressure, low blood pressure, diabetes. Minor stroke. Everything. The they, just, they just, they don't need nothing. They they want fever and the motherfucker's gone. <laughs> so they have to protect themselves. So do yeah, that's some do. scary shit though, Mike. Uh, the another virus coming. I don't know. Oh my god, I'm not ready for this. That's why I'm going to fuck the Africa. Oh, do they need to test you again when mm. you go to the airport? Or you have to, to get tested three days before, three days or less before you um before you travel. Well, what else is in the news, Mike? Uh, it's about Olympics. Um, uh, oh shit, the fucking well, you Olympics. Know what? People, people are still. People are still mad at Bill Cosby is oh, out. Yeah. Um, the one guy is pissed. Um, what's the guy? Kid Cudi. Kid Cudi. Kid, yeah, Kid Cudi said people cheering for Bill Cosby being released are idiots. Isn't that the same nigga that wore a floral dress, <laughs> sundress, and a spaghetti strap on national TV for attention? I'm just curious. It, it's the same. Yeah, nigga, it's right? the same one. Okay. All right. On next nigga news. Hey, Nevada, Miss America. So Miss Nevada. Yeah. Was a trans man who won oh. Miss Nevada? Yes. What? Nobody knew about it. Motherfucker, he won. Congratulations, my nigga. Oh, congratulations! Either he, either he was a very beautiful man or a very handsome woman, <laughs> or just a facial challenge, motherfucker. But congratulations! Congratulations! Uh, yeah, I can't believe that, that a whole man won Miss wow. America in, the, in Nevada. The very whole world has changed. Gorgeous man, I'm sure he's probably just. Probably look better than our women. <laughs> a lot of these transgenders are the very handsome women. Yeah, because beautiful. They, I mean, they got uh, a lot of uh, very experienced plastic surgery surgeon out here now, Mike. You know, I'm still uh, so the Shakira Richardson girl. We already know that you know she's suspended from the Olympics, right? Um, oh yeah, I was sad about that. But look, she she smoked weed and she still was fast. Imagine <laughs> if she smoked crack. She she probably could enter the Kentucky Derby <laughs> and chase and run with them horses. Yeah, yeah, that was the reason I think Mike that they disqualify her because she was yeah she was uh, smoking high and running fast. If imagine if uh, the the judges were like, shit, imagine if she's sober, right? Seriously, Chinese best friend, what, what's the fucking punchline there? There's no punchline, Mike. It's telling your story. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Pete, Puff, Puff Daddy, um, he said growing up one day, he woke up, he had 15 roaches on his face, oh. and he refused to live like that again. 
My nigga, wow. where the fuck did you grow up where the roaches were that disrespectful? <laughs> when I grew up, when I saw, ro- when you turned lights on, roaches ran. <laughs> but you know what? I understand what you're saying because I grew up with 15 flowers on my face and I refused to live like that as well. <laughs> The moral to the story is niggas that grow up with bugs on their face become successful. So oh, put some roaches on your face or put some flies on your face. Live with mice and rats. Hey, McGregor. McGregor. That nigga got $20 million to get his ass beat again. Oh, shit. This nigga was getting his ass beat so bad, he broke his own ankle to get out the fight. <laughs> Conor McGregor, a.k.a. Con Artist McGregor, has pulled up another bank robbery. Thank you for robbing us, motherfucker. Wow. That's a lot of money. Black people feeling that the, the Olympics are hating on black people. Black people are really pissed right now. So the Olympics said that Shakari can run because she smoked weed, marijuana. Yeah. Swim caps for African-American hair have been banned. They cannot wear a swim cap. Why? Yes, swim cap ban. The, f- the Black Lives Matter apparel have also been banned. What? I, I, do people realize that if all people of color decided to protest the Olympics, how it would look? <laughs> Lithuania would probably win gold medal in men's basketball. <laughs> White people are going to be breaking records for wrong reasons, okay? Like the, sh- <laughs> the slowest nigga in the history of the 100 yard dash. <laughs> Ireland would probably win the relay race. And the lighting of the torch is probably going to look like the Ku Klux Klan. Probably. <laughs> you know what, Mike? You're actually right. Imagine that. You have, yeah. you have no sports in you, man. Can you run? Can you oh, throw? Me? I used to play basketball. For real? 25 years ago, but now I can barely dribble. I know somebody that's shorter than you. My guest today, motherfucker. They, really? I, he oh. definitely built like a, a capital Q. Um, another Z-list celebrity. <laughs> uh, up and coming comedian, social media influencers. He's from one of my favorite places to perform. I love going to Boston. Boston people oh. are just, you know, they're so real. You know why I like Boston so much? It's like everybody that's African from Boston is from Cape Verde. For some reason, everybody that stayed from Cape Verde, they're from fucking Boston. Boston must have its own part of Where Africa called Cape Verde. And then a um, lot of Haitians in in, in um, Boston also. Sapase Wabule. Shout out to all the, all the Haitians in Boston. I got my nigga on the show tonight. Let's welcome my guest to the show. Yeah, welcome to the show. Rito Brown, where you at, motherfucker? Rito Brown. What's good, dog? Have a seat, man. Welcome to the Z List Celebrity Podcast. All my guests are either they are between Q and Z. You are probably a Z lister, but you are definitely <laughs> on the way to Q. Definitely on the way to Q. I appreciate that. That's Anytime, cool. Man. How you been? Man, been busy, man. You know, the world's open back up, so that's good. But then it's opening back up and then they are trying to threaten us somebody they might be shutting down again. Do you believe they're gonna shut down again or not? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Cause we don't like humans don't know what the fuck they're doing. You know what I mean? Like I I feel like the problem was when COVID happened, a lot of niggas thought they was gonna die. You know what I mean? So they out here doing stupid shit. Yeah, you're absolutely you know right. I mean? They were like the most endangered ones are the the uh, the blacks. That's what <laughs> Fauci said. Really? Yeah. Why? Because we out too much or some shit? No, because I I guess it attacks it more or some or more death were were blacks. Well, cause black people we have all you know. I think we got like the most high blood pressure and mm. diabetes. You know, I think I think we have a. Um, we eat too much fucking sweets and greasy food. That's probably why too much. That's probably why we are probably the less healthier people. That shit good, nigga. I yeah, can't help good. it. I can't help Did it. Did you get COVID this year, sir? Yeah, but I had it before we knew what COVID was. Oh, shit. You're the one that started the coronavirus. Nah, I got it from y'all, nigga. I got that shit from China, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I got it uh, in November before we knew what it was. Damn. Yeah. yeah. You were just sick for no reason. Yo, I, I mean, I... I've had the flu before. Right. So when I got sick, I'm thinking it's the flu. I'm yeah. like, oh, this is a flu. I'm going to beat it. But that shit was beating my ass. Like yeah. to the point, if I knew what COVID was, I'd have probably been walking around the house the whole time crying like, yeah, I'm about to die. Well, Did you give to anybody? Yeah, no, nah, I stayed in the house. Like, oh, you, you know, when I, get, when I get sick, I stay, stay in the home. house. But it was, it was sick to the point where 
Like I would, I would shiver for no reason. Oh, yeah. I would be so. Did you get pussy? Cause you know. Yeah. Nah, I mean, Shorty was taking care of me. We didn't fuck. I was like, I don't want to. I'm if I sweat enough, I'm gonna die in this motherfucker. Damn, was that bad, man? man. Did you get COVID? Bad. Yeah, I got it. I got some. Pussy. Got bad. You got pussy during yeah, COVID, so you bad. spread it to shit. Yeah. No, no, I, I fuck with the mask on. Oh, that's <laughs> that's respect. Yeah, he was about to die. He said, I was like, <laughs> unless if it, if it's in a cum, oh shit. Get a COVID huh? baby. You have a COVID baby. Oh, it, does that. it keep COVID or does it like what happens? They just look like Chinese. <laughs> no, no, fucking. <laughs> well, my girl's Asian, so the baby. Oh yeah. Yeah. Then that's, where do you think you got it, sir? From a strip probably, club? Or? Nah, I think probably on an airplane. I was traveling heavy around that time. Were you yeah. were you traveling Delta Airlines by any nah, chance? Nah, I'm probably American. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, American's my airline too. I like yeah, American. I fuck with American. New American Airlines, yeah. something special in the air. They got a catch like a song. Yeah, they got a song. I Delta know. has a song too. They haven't played that in a long time. Delta ago. song is that song whack. That's why. What Delta is like? Um, we love to fly uh, and it shows. For, I've never heard that shit. He used to work for all the airlines in the I world. I didn't work for the I just knew all the airline song. I did work for the airline. Mike, what's the British airline song? I don't remember. I don't know. Come on, Mike. You were the employee of the year, I heard. No, I merged to Air Jamaica. Come to, the, to Mexico. What's Jamaican? <laughs> Tell me. I knew Jamaican airlines. Um, the catchphrase. Yeah, I forgot it. Jamaica, I think they've been Jamaican airline been out of business for a long time. I think. Mm. Mike, did they ever? Did your boss ever say, "Hey, Mike, uh, you should be the one speaking before we fly"? The the, the Southwest plan. is the only one that put comedians on a fucking plane. They be having their flight attendant must go to. You ever get to Southwest yeah. and start trying to tell jokes? Trying to roast and shit. Yeah, Mike, oh, man, you yeah, sit your fucking. Um, they try to, but it don't work. Al looking <laughs> ass down. Fuck <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> I think all the all the comedians that never made it. I'll work for South Southwest. Southwest. <laughs> right attend it. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> so what's going on in Boston, man? You guys are open, right? Yeah, Boston opened up. Um, I haven't been there since it opened up yet, though. Um, really? that, that's one of the places I don't want to go yet. Boston. Oh. I mean, there's a, there's a couple places. I, like, I'm not going to Florida. Like, Why? It's been, it's, been wet, it's been open throughout the whole oh, COVID. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Like, Florida's been open throughout the whole COVID. Mm -hmm. And with Boston, I, I got too much family there. So I would hate to go there and bring it because I'm only going to be around family. You know what I mean? So that was yeah, why I didn't want to. You already. You think you're going to catch it again? Uh, All my family old. I'm like the youngest nigga in my oh, yeah, family. Oh, yeah. Stay with me, family. Yeah, For real? Oh. Yeah, nigga, yeah. What's your, how old is your mother? My mother my mother right now, she's 20 years older than me, so she's 47. But my grandmother's still alive. Oh, 47? Nine. How old are you, sir? No, 57. 21? I'm, I'm oh. not bugging. 57. Okay. My mom's 57. You know, that's still all her, but... My grandmother's still alive, her okay. sisters, her aunts, and they're they all in the same area. So I'm like, I think one of my aunts caught it, and she was really sick, but she got better. But after that, I was just like, yeah, I got to stay away from y'all. Y'all got diabetes right. How about us? Shit. I have a heart problem. Have you ever fucked a woman as old as your mother? Like, have you ever fucked like a 50? Nah, woman? I'm scared of that because I don't wear condoms, Mike. And I, I heard when you <laughs> fuck old women, the baby come out old. For real? Yeah. If you have Holy sex, shit. if you get somebody old pregnant, the baby come out old, looks old. Oh, like, like Benjamin Button. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I'm trying, like, so the baby won't come out like, who's an old-looking nigga? <laughs> <laughs> like well, a Garrett old Morris, infant. nigga. Who? Garrett Morris. going to look like Garrett Morris is a baby, man. <laughs> That's a little ass kid with a hat on. <laughs> Nah. Damn, so you fuck all your bitches raw. That's that's dope. That's so the you, only that, way to go. What have you caught? Like if you besides Nigga, comedian? A baby or two. That For I, real? Yeah. Only a, or two, so a baby or two. I got two babies. I got two. Boy, girl, transgender. I got a yeah. boy. I got a boy. <laughs> two boys? <laughs> Hey. A boy and a girl. It's funny that you say transgender because that's really a thing. They could be born. That's really yeah. thick. Now I got a boy and a girl. Eleven year old boy, seven year old daughter. Oh, congratulations, man. Hey, hey man. congratulations. That's nice, Appreciate man. It. Two years apart, it kind of like are the same mothers? Yeah, same mother. Damn, that's I got nice. lucky, nigga. That that's was luck. for niggas. He's nigga, a faithful the, guy. Hit the jackpot. Now yeah. I'm not that. I'm not faithful to that. Don't spread that rumor. I'm just a lucky nigga. Oh. When yeah. he becomes an A-list celebrity, motherfucker, you're gonna have child support knocking on your door. Have you ever had like <laughs> um? You ever? How many abortions you you have? Oh man, a lot. You think? I I've only given the four hundred dollars up one time. Just one time. Just one time. Four hundred dollars. Oh. One time. So your pull out game is tight. It's tight, but I did, I gave that shit up when I was like eighteen though. What your pull out game? No, the uh the uh four hundred. When I was eighteen years old? Yeah, I was like eighteen years old. I had to scrape that four hundred. Who got you? Up. Who got you for that? Nigga, this bitch from around the way. 
Boston. Yeah. She you never got got for the four hundred? I've been got for four. It's like Man. I think it was like three eighty five. Y'all, oh, y'all got a discount? <laughs> no, it was it was early two thousands. <laughs> Because she got me, but, but then, I, then I knew they were just getting motherfuckers. So one she was like, I'm pregnant. I said, well, I can't wait to have our baby, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, shit. And, me, and then I would have see if, if I saw something growing up. Like, here's a $600. Like, <laughs> you was telling the truth. I thought you was lying, mm-hmm. bitch. Maybe she just ate too much. Hey, right? No, but funny. they was getting, mother, you know, Hard. sometimes we're getting people for that money. You know, she's oh, like, I'm yeah. pregnant. I said, oh, you, you are? Okay, well, you know, I'm looking for, I want to have 10 kids anyway. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was lying, nigga. Uh, I was like, yeah, okay. It, it was good. It was trying to get motherfuckers. How, how about chlamydia? Did you catch that? Nigga, I've never had nothing. You're so lucky. You fuck all the bitches world ever caught chlamydia. I've never had nothing, man. It's crazy. Like, I, I would go to the but doctor and get checked. Out, if you pull out real fast, you could avoid a lot of diseases. Really? No, nah, that's not true. No, nah, it's not true at all. It's not true. Have you so, caught anything, Mike? I've caught chlamydia. How bad is that shit? It's not bad. Just your dick on fire for a few days. <laughs> Yeah, Mike, does it go away after? Yeah, you could, you just go, you could, um, <laughs> you just take pills. But they have like some pills you could take for like 10 days or you could just get a, sh- or they want to, this one that happen overnight. Just depend what kind, if your doctor hit you, you eat a 10 day pills. Like, oh, <laughs> take 10 days, you can't get no pussy. If it's like a nice doctor, like, you know what, take this overnight, you'll be okay tomorrow. Mm. But give yourself a three days to like, you know, so you don't infect nobody else. Man. I, I happened at a young age. I was like, um, oh, it's that fast. It happened, and I, I, it was, um, I was like 19 or 20 when I got burned the first time. Mm. Was it your co-worker from Domino's, Michael Block? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're giving away pizza and chlamydia? No. Nah, Toppings? Was, girl, I remember. It was, uh, I was early in my sex age. But the thing about it, when you first get burned, you don't know. Like, I had no idea. You know, I just, you know, I was, so what you, you don't. What it was? I had, I don't, I, I have no idea. Like, I, so I'm just thinking, like, just, you know, and then. This is how I found out. I had a wet dream and I came and burnt myself. Oh, damn. Yeah, like I had a wet dream. You know, when you wet dream, you come. When I, when I came, it woke me up. Like, ah, I'm like, fuck. I, to, oh, I was like, damn, damn I'm burning myself. So I went. I remember my doctor is a Jewish guy. He, he was like in a basement somewhere. I went there. He gave me some pills. <laughs> but it was back. This is like 90. So I, wow. you know, I took the, um, the whole 10 day shit. I was so scared of sex. I didn't have sex for like six to eight months. Really? Wow. Yeah. So it was. Like I just thought everyone was burning. Okay. <laughs> Once you get burnt in the whole world, bro, you could be a virgin. Like, bitch, I don't trust you. That's funny. Wow. Yeah. I'm so lucky. I never had. I never. If you did, burned. would you even, would you be honest enough to tell me Chinese best friend? Yeah, I'll be honest, Mike. You know. I oh, never the, had nothing. No, I've never hey, had you my boy, you never had I that, never, huh? Mike, I promise, I've never had nothing. Damn. Liar. Never. I, I promise, hey, I've never had no, nothing. You're not a real nigga till you get burnt. Why has it got to be that? Because, man, you're not like... You, have, yeah. you, just want, you just want me to feel what you went through. That, yeah, that wet dream shit is sad. That, I know that shit was crazy. That was a nightmare. You, how often do you think about that shit? Uh, <laughs> I'm just, that, that, that's only that's the part there to make me, like, you know, get me scared. That I think about that all the time. Man. You know, but now you could kind of like you know I, I was young. You don't know, but now you you, you live and you learn. You know, hold yeah. on, saying my boy QD. Like, yeah, that's that's crazy, man. I mean, but you know, a lot of time you know you don't know, so like it's good yeah. to experience it. Now you start to like, you know, you, you, there's ways of knowing women's burning. Oh, like, sometimes yeah. you just smell. You can just look. Oh, really? Like, yeah, you can look you know? and tell. But my thing was like with me, I've been, I'm like a relationship nigga. Like right after okay. I graduated, I was with the mother of my kids. That's you know good. what I mean? And then after that, I moved to LA. I was with one person. So that's uh, why oh, I was okay. too crazy. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't I was in these streets like long, Mike. Long, yeah, yeah, long term I, nigga. I've had my dick on a crap table a few times. Damn. That's Damn. But now, now, I mean, now <laughs> I'm matured now, you know. Uh, but since when Michael Black said? I'm mature now. now. I don't I don't fuck anything anymore. Plus we have condoms now. You know, back then mm. condom was expensive. I was in a oh, really? I was making minimum wage. So I had to put my life either my life on the line or spend this five dollars. Yeah. yeah, it was so embarrassing buying condoms at seven eleven before. Yeah, it was kind of embarrassing. Yeah, they look at you funny with the fucking cashier. That's why I'm like Well what know? what size was you buying? Uh, just but like you know what? extra small. <laughs> it was I half w- off. I was <laughs> I think jerking off, uh, the pause, but like it kind of helped my dick grow because I just, oh. when I when I got burnt, I gotta do that. when I got burnt, I was so scared of sex, I jerked off for eight months straight, and that's when Shit. I went from like a regular 
condom to magnum. Oh, so it's like practicing it's for like the workout. goddamn Olympics, Mike. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like muscles, like you, you know. <laughs> I had no idea. It's like working out. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, you go from no muscles to muscles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like in the Olympics, right? Hey yeah, man, practice. don't tell don't tell people that because all these niggas are gonna jerk off, man. You tell all these <laughs> niggas to jerk off to get their shit right. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, man, I'm um I'm I'm good. I ain't worried about that shit. It's cool. what the fuck is this? That nigga stay busy, huh? Which one? Yeah, Michael Blackson. He answers every phone call, every text, everything. Uh, yeah, he he's one a- of the nicest people I ever met, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Now let's let's get to your career, dog. I mm-hmm. we, I actually had him. I, I took him on the road for me. Oh. I took him on the road a few times. This yeah. is one guy that's up and rising, funny mm-hmm. guy. Thank you. Social media, every skit you do is hilarious, man. Appreciate it, man. What part of your fucking brains come up with them crazy shit? Like, uh, uh, to be honest with you, Mike, mm-hmm. it's, it's one of them things where, like, when I started doing social media, I respected comedy so much that I didn't want to just jump out there and do anything. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I didn't want to do shit that makes people like you be like, "Hey, nigga, you're doing this wrong." You know? So to have people like you think I'm funny and people like real any any comedian that's up there come to me and say that I make them laugh it became the thing I was chasing like I wasn't trying to make like everybody laugh I'm trying to make comedians laugh because if y'all are laughing I know it's funny yeah you know what I mean so that that was that was really dope to me being around y'all and seeing that y'all think the shit was funny you know what I mean and you um you know you came out during the social media era so which was great for you guys unlike Mm -hmm. us we came out in an era where we had no social media nothing we had no audience we had to go on stage to build an audience you know and Mm -hmm. like now you guys you know people like you that's funny dc young flies another guy they like came through social media built a name for himself Mm -hmm. you know built a fan base and then learn how to be a stand-up comic, and now he's a successful comic, Mm. and he got social media back in his pocket, so now the kid is making a whole lot of money. Mm. And that's, you know, so you guys, like I said, you guys are very fortunate now. Y'all got the social media to build your audience. You have, like, almost 800,000 followers. That's a very good number, man. Yeah. But the thing about it, it ain't, you know, he's not like one of them guys that buy, he ain't buy no follow. You could tell his followers are real because he put, he, his content is funny, and yeah. if his content is funny, it gets shared by people, and that's how mm-hmm. the followers come. Yeah, you know, wow. there are I mean, a lot of that, fraudulent motherfuckers out there that buying fucking and we, followers. And we see that. I mean, mm-hmm. even with even with you, you know what I mean? Like you, you was already doing comedy, but to jump on social media and and to just see how it works, you know what I mean? I know you, you're doing a podcast now. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, cause you see the power of social media. So for us, like niggas like me, DC, that actually understood it and then took it like to comedy like it's dope for you guys to like appreciate that and respect the niggas that are really doing it right you know what i mean so my hats off to y'all for that shit appreciate that man yeah. um let me see so let me see last time i saw you perform i think it was, was ice house nigga do you remember the first time you seen me do, do anything up. do it's anything like, this was your birthday if- party remember you did uh the roast in new york I wasn't even a comic oh then. Oh my god! I wasn't even a comedian then. What and year was this? That was so at least this 10 was years ten ago. years ago. Oh. I, I I wasn't even a comic then. Michael had a birthday roast in New York, and I went with a couple friends. And after he let the comics go, he was like, "Yo, does anybody in the crowd want to yeah. roast?" I was like, "Nigga, I need that microphone." You know what I mean? And I went up there and I like I was roasting. It was so much fun. But that's when you was like, man, you should really try this shit. That's how we connected. I yeah. think we wow. connected on Twitter first. Yeah, on Twitter we was roasting back and forth. And then that's when he invited that's us right. to the birthday party. Wow, yeah, that's amazing. So, so that shit was dope. It gave you some inspiration, sir. No, uh, absolutely. Mike, no, every time I see Mike, I tell him he's, he inspired wow. me to really get this shit going. You know what I mean? That's amazing, man. Yeah. yeah, that's Mike, dope, are man. you uh, expecting the Black Angels? I have Angels? no idea who's coming in, man. I'm going to invite people. We might need to give him a lap dance. He's never experienced chlamydia. Maybe today's the day. Well, none of my friends have chlamydia. <laughs> you don't happen to be in a relationship with a baby, are you, sir? Nah, I'm in a relationship, but I can do what I want, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, she don't. What a lucky guy. Very. Yeah. Um. Wow. So what's, what's, So now you build your audience. Yep. Your stand-up is great. How much time can you do now? A good 45. Wow. wow i'm not it's gonna yeah, it is but it's not it's not a great 45 okay. like i like i know i'm i'm the comedian that 
I know who I can't follow. Gotcha. I'm not gonna go on stage and just be like, yeah, put, I wanna know who's on the list because mm-hmm. I wanna work on my shit. I don't, I'm not in the mood to compete. You know what I mean? I just really wanna make people laugh. So I gotta get that hour for it to be like, all right, now I can go out there and do whatever the fuck I want. But that's good. That's good. At yeah. least you know where you are. And comedy, it doesn't happen overnight, trust me. Mm. You get better with age. It's like wine. The older, the better. So when did you, as a comic, when did you feel like, oh, all right, um, I got it now? Um, <laughs> Probably, honestly, like right now is like the most, I'm so comfortable now with, mm. with any stage. I just, I did something in LA this week and um, Jay Leno came around. And oh, he for your show, on, right? He came out and, you know, opened up. Wow. You know, and like when you go behind a legend like that, mm. yeah, and you know, destroy the crowd, you know, then you know, you have it. But like stand like I said, we get better with age. Yeah. I mean, I probably felt very, very comfortable, maybe, uh, let me see, after Twitter, probably about 10 years ago. So 10 mm-hmm. years ago, I was already 15 years in. Okay. You wow. know, so yeah, so 15 years in, I felt like, you know, I am. I'm. I could do anything. Word. And then now, it's, you know, it's, even as I get older now, I'm thinking I'm even better and better. I'm getting with comedy. You just get better. We're still by learning age. shit. Still you learning know what I mean? shit. Yeah. Mike, that was the the craziest uh, performance I've ever seen you. Every person there was crying, laughing. What the? You talking about this weekend's performance? Yeah. They didn't even want to get off their seats. They were mm. all still sitting down. I was like. Are these the new uh, for the ten o'clock shows? They were all the same people. Oh no, I've seen him do that Craziest. shit in uh, in Canada when we did Toronto. Oh yeah, man, we did Toronto, and I think I did fifteen minutes. And after I went in the crowd to just watch, and I know Mike set, yeah. but I'm just in the crowd to watch the crowd, and I'm just like, oh, oh yeah. I'm not making them do this. This is different. Yeah, like it's different great. when you make people laugh. And then you see somebody making everybody hold their stomach. Yeah. It's like, oh, I got to get to work. You know what I mean? So, like, seeing shit like that is what makes me want to get back on stage and really work and get to, like, learn how to do this shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, trust yeah. me, you're just going to get better and better, man. Word. Just keep hitting that stage. When last time you hit the stage? Um, I did a, I mean, I go out with Ryan Davis now. We did, um, what was we last? Him? Now, well, I feature for him every once okay. in a while, you know what I mean? But depending on what he's doing. But we did Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Atlanta was the last place we did okay. actually. That yeah. was recent in the last couple of months. Yeah, that was the last month actually. Okay, nice. And dope, then we yeah. doing uh, we're doing. I actually hosting in Houston next weekend. So when during COVID, when you um, because I know we got shut down. Yeah. March, I got shut down like March 11 ish. Mm-hmm. I was on like three tours, and they just shut it, shut out the money. Mm-hmm. So when you were shut down for March, when did you go on stage after that? Um. Yeah, I during COVID I went and did one Zoom show okay, at the Laugh you. Factory. Oh, okay. Like, okay. but but they uh-huh. did it where you can you're on stage and they had TVs of like, like fifty people just watching you. You know what I mean? So oh, I, I've heard of that. Yeah, it was cool, but it's not. I didn't. It's I didn't like same. it though. It's not the same at all. Yeah. Right now, hey, yeah. I, I did, did you have to wear a mask? No. Are you serious? <laughs> you Mike, I saw them wear a mask. Nah. There was no one mask. audience, right? There's a few audience on the. On the next to you, a few audience. Right no, there, there was nobody. What's so it fuck? was just it was just me. All the comics were there. The club owner was there, and everybody else was just watching through like the television. Yeah. But they wanted the effect of the stage. You know what I mean? That's weird. Yeah, it. I mean, it's. I don't. I didn't like that. I don't like that era of comedy. You know, I say that era because I don't want it to go back there. Yeah. But the whole Zoom era and all yeah, that, no, it wasn't for me. Yeah, it wasn't for me, man. Did you do a Zoom show? No, I did something like a. Um, it wasn't a Zoom. It was like more like a, like an online, uh, roasting thing between mm. me and Phase on Love. Like I a, did see that. I, that I was see trashed. That. Yeah, yeah it, it's a weird vibe, man. Yeah, weird vibe. You weird know, you vibe. Can't, you can't hear people laughing on the internet. Man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know. Um, damn it. So, oh, now you are the father. Would you yeah. suggest your kids being comedians? I think my daughter is going to be one. My son isn't isn't as funny. So, like, he's mean. So I tell him, yeah, you got to chill out. But my daughter, I let her explore it. Like, if you find something you think it's funny, go ahead, be funny. I'll give you that mulligan of trying to be funny first. But my son, I don't think my son got it, bro. For real? Yeah, he don't got it. He's he just he, a mean little nigga. He mean. He likes to play sports, karate, oh, okay. shit like that. But... Make it a joke. It's like, nah, he want to hurt your feelings. So I'm like, yeah, you can't indulge in this shit. 
but my daughter, she knows. She, she's my daughter's the one that's like, we had a roasting competition one day. Oh, I had my daughter and son go at it. I want to see if y'all know what y'all doing. Wow, you know what I mean? So my daughter's turn. I'm, I tell her how to do it. I'm like, you just want to get straight to the point, insult, be funny. So my daughter's like, your mother's ugly. I'm like, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny <laughs> funny as shit seven year old keep going my mm. son is the nigga that's just like you don't know the difference between a goat and a sheep and i'm like nigga stop like that's not how you roast was there more to it I was yeah there. my daughter really doesn't know the difference between a goat and a sheep but she's seven oh, nigga. i thought they're the same no they're, they're, he's, they're she's seven same. he's 11. It's oh, not no, the, the same the, the sheep and a goat a sheep and a goat no it's not the same do they sound the same meh like that no that's a sheep. The sheep oh. got the wool. A goat got the horns. But the sheep doesn't t talk like that? Nah, that's a, that's a, a goat. Oh. Hi, welcome to the show. How y'all doing? So the sheep and the goat, I mean, don't they both <laughs> say mad? Yeah, Mike, see? Is that the same? No. He doesn't a goat, even know. A goat. Maybe the joke was Mike, for you. Mike, you would know. I, my, I eat goat. I don't, I don't listen to nigga Maybe talk. the joke was for you. What? Towards your, uh, your son. He was talking about know, me? Yeah, you don't know the difference between a goat and a sheep. <laughs> Damn, you're right. That is fucking funny. So that, that makes it a good joke? A king. That I makes like, <laughs> But what do you think takes better, a goat or a lamb? You, you from Boston, you added some curry goat, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. But what, it, no, that's different. You're saying curry goat. Curry goat is, is too good. I don't yeah. care what you do to a lamb, I'll take the goat. For real? I Nigga. love lamb chops? No, nah, I'll take the goat. For some, I think lamb meat tastes better. I don't know, is it because of what they, what make meat taste better? Is it where it was it's raised? The fats, yeah, it's of the course. Fats. It's a little juicy fat on it. But you yeah, know, like that. What makes I like oxtail better than steak sometimes. For real, nigga, oxtail is different, bro. But you know what make a steak taste good and bad sometimes? The way the is the way to kill the cow. Really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, like if you if you if you die angry, you're not gonna be oh. all tender, you know. Mm. <laughs> if, you sh if you shot the motherfucker, <laughs> you, you gotta kill it in a certain way. You gotta like. Like what, Mike? You gotta cut his. You gotta rub his nicely. back and shit. Something. Yeah, you gotta massage him. <laughs> Tell him you're not gonna die. You're not gonna die. This ain't a sing gun. Sing a song. How you gotta kill a cow, he's Mike? He's gonna <laughs> sing a song. If you shoot a cow, he's gonna be very stiff. He's gonna be a tough meat oh, to yeah, eat. Oh yeah, you're right. Mm. Right. He's angry. He died angrily. Yeah. He's not gonna give you a good meat to eat. Mm. Massage him. You know, probably get like a female <laughs> cow to suck his dick. Well, oh. yeah. And what? Tickle uh, him, motherfucker? Tickle right with, him. Right when he busted the nut, right shoot him in the head. <laughs> Cut his throat. Yeah. How do they kill a cow, anyways? Cut the throat too, like a. Well, in America, I think they shoot them, in, you know, in the it's like some, it's like, like some nail long. Gun. Shit. It's a nail yeah. gun. Oh god. So it's like I seen that shit. It's like a long ass nail gun, and the nail just comes out and goes back in. They like oh, put it to his head. Shit. So it's in and out. Oh, man. That's not nice, man. Yeah, that's we can't. Nice. I, I would never want like. I don't want to know how we make none of our food anymore. I, 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 I mean, I've killed the chickens. How? Like, cut the head off? Well, yeah, but you see, yeah, you see you're in America. Yeah, sometimes I just cut it off and let the shit run all crazy. That's torture. Africa, we, you know, we dig a hole in the ground. You got to kill them peacefully. Mm -hmm. Don't have them all ink jumping up. That's going to make them not soft. You want a chicken to be nice and tender when you eat it. That's all how you kill them. So what we do, we you know, you grab the leg, grip both legs, you step your foot on one, on, the, on both legs, you put the wings together backwards, you put your other leg on the oh, wing. That's torture, motherfucker. No, that's, <laughs> not. that's the stiffest chicken you're gonna have. That's 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 you dig a hole, you make you a dig a hole nuggets, in the nigga. ground because you wanna pour that blood, you peel some hair off his neck, and then you just why he, he, he got both legs, he's down, he can't move nowhere. Yeah. You just cut a little bit of throat and then you pour the blood in the um ground in the hole that's way worse yeah mike. that's worse then just chopping the head up yeah, head up and that's them it. just that's what around we like do crazy. in the philippines mike we chop the head off and yeah, he so. runs around like that's, with yeah would you want to be that's that's horrible and then on your birthday you killed it and then you put a cross right here because we're catholic Chickens with the blood you put yeah. a you put the chicken's yeah. blood on your it's forehead on your birthday yeah i didn't know that now i think about it it was like damn but don't you guys eat chicken blood like i heard i've seen it it's a pig blood Oh, yeah. it's pig blood. Well, you drink it? No, you no, they cook they, it, they cook and it. then they added some intestines and stuff in there. So, oh, like a liver. sauce, basically. Yeah. Okay. A lot of a lot of people think it's it's chocolate soup. So, mm. I fooled a lot of my friends. Wait, hold on. You fed your friends pig blood and told them yeah, it was chocolate soup? Know. Yeah. 
What the fuck, nigga? I had nigga? rice in it. Yo, Mike, don't have me come to none of this nigga shit. Mike had some. You had pig I had blood? No, fucking pig no blood. I brought one here before. Oh, shit. Did you fucking trick me? Yeah. yeah. No, I told you it was uh, some little soup. You know <laughs> I forgot. I told you. Remember one time I brought a lot of Filipino food? You liked it. You're like, oh, what is this? This nigga said this? little oh. soup. <laughs> Don't worry, Mike. It was it was cooked real good. It was it's cooked real good. Yeah, this nigga said little soup. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my fault. You man. want me to order tonight? Mike? No, motherfucker. I can wear eight <laughs> pigs' blood. Why not? That's probably why I've been fucking passing gas the past ten years. Huh? How yeah. long ago was this? That was about three, uh, maybe like uh, eight, nine months ago. <laughs> <the food. laughs> You don't, you know, I told you. I don't remember you telling me. I, I got a bunch of food. <laughs> you like it. You're like, oh, this is good. He was fucking it up. Yeah, he was, I knew what he it was. He was fucking it up. No, nah, he didn't. He said he told uh, you no, it was I chocolate. Just said soup. No, soup. Just said soup. Oh, okay. <laughs> you liked it, Mike. That's, that's what Rada does. Rada tricked me. She'll tell me, because she know, she knows she's Asian. She knows how to make African food. <laughs> So she wouldn't tell me she's making African stew. She'd tell me, Mike, I'm making Chinese stew. And I eat it, I'm like, oh, this is good. She's like, yeah, motherfucker, I just make African stew, motherfucker. <laughs> What's up, Marasokas? This is your African king of comedy, Michael Blackson. Stop what you are doing right now and go find the Marasoka podcast with me, Michael Blackson, on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcast. Subscribe. It's free. So go do it right now. And don't forget to catch a new episode every Tuesday.